Do you find that you understand candlestick patterns perfectly, but when it comes to execution, that's the bit that's difficult. When precisely to get into the trade, how to hold the trade, how to manage the trade as it moves to target. This is the difficulty of any kind of candle pattern. A candle pattern shows you what can potentially happen. It shows you where the market can potentially go. But the bit that tells you whether it is actually going to do it, the bit that tells you whether you are right on the trade, ultimately comes down to order flow and understanding how the order flow is developing to also leverage your position, to add into this trade as the move goes. Now, at Axia, every single trade is executed on a price level. So people will do their analysis, they use multiple different tools, but when it comes down to the actual putting the trade on, the execution, that goes onto a price header, and that is every trade, every trade, a new, old, doesn't matter how long you've been in, it's all on a price level. What I'm gonna show you today then, is how a flag works on a price header, what you're looking for. And this is just one small trade. If you click on the link, you can come join us. I'll actually walk you through a $900,000 trade as well. So click the link, come and join there. Today though, we're gonna go and look at that flag pattern that we looked at in the previous video. Link, go for there. But on this, you want to see what does it do to start with and at what moment can you actually leverage this position up over to the chart, over to the ladder. Right. The trade then is to execute as you break the trend. Now the trend comes in at around about 88.00. So as the market trades through there, your objective is to buy. So you can just buy straight away as we move through the level. But technically it looks right. Order flow wise, this is really, really slow. There's very, very little happening. You look at the bids, you look at the offers, they're not changing. The last traded quantity is also not changing. So you're not seeing the speed of orders going through. Very, very slow and sticky. So technically you're dead right on this, but there's nothing more than that. So if there's no further reason to buy, there's no order flow to back it up, you can buy. You know where your stop is. Your stop is down in the mid to low 80s. So once you get through these lows, and you've got a target of around about 80 ticks towards the upside. So you're in a great position here, but you don't have any confirmation that the trade is actually going to work. And this is because where we are now is the period where the market's got to try and decide, is this actually going to be a double top, another test of 88, 18, and a market that falls down, or is it actually going to go and break? That's the bit you're waiting for. So you have to accept sitting through this slow period where the markets are up, down, up, down, up, down before it then goes. The area where you can leverage the trade, so you can go from say having two lots on to significantly more, is when you see that impulse, that price impulse, the order flow that drives the market up. When you see that, that's the time to add on to the trade. So you are looking for this around about 88.18. That's then the confirmation that this isn't a double top. This is indeed a flag break, and you've now got a further 60 plus ticks to be targeting on this. So we go and look at that bit, the moment that you can leverage the trade up, that's the bit where you really want to add on to this. So if you're long now at 08, you're still having sat through that sort of slow period where the, cat, where the flag pulls back to trend. You've not been proved wrong. But equally, there's nothing at the moment that's saying you're dead right on this. And this is where traders struggle because they're looking at this thinking, it should go, it should go, it should go. Traders look for things in straight lines and they don't move in straight lines. This is the natural pause in the market. This is fine, but what you're looking for is something to change. Some kind of impulse change in the pace of the market much, much quicker there. Jumps through the highs. So at this point, we've just jumped over 18. The great advantage of being in on the candle, on the flag break, is that you're in from double O. If you're in from down here, 01, 02, somewhere like that, when this breaks, you can add on. And where you're trying to add is where you've got this pocket of low volume and above 18. So you can add there. But what it means is your average price is still down at around about the 18 area, meaning that now you've got a very, very small risk. This market should not come back below 18. So you're now taking that 15 to 20 tick risk that you initially had, increased your size, but now your stop can be somewhere around about the 13 area. So you're then on a five tick stop, 
with still 60 plus ticks to go. So you now got a far, far better 12 to one risk reward compared to the original five to one and also double the size. So you're in a position now, and this is the whole point of leverage. You should be leveraging this trade up. The probability of it working is going up. The size of the stop is getting smaller. This is the moment to get into the trade. That's what you're waiting for. That's the bit that many people struggle with because they wait and wait and wait, nothing happens. And then by the time it starts to go, they're then having to pay much higher prices and they're not comfortable doing so. Be in it technically, but look for that change in order flow that tells you to add onto the trade. So there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed this series on candlesticks. We've looked at the theory. We've then got through into the practical application of it. And then how do you actually execute trades? Remember, there's a lot more to trade in than just simply candlestick. But candlesticks have to be the start. Every trader, including myself when I started, started off with candlesticks because these give you the map of what's going on in the market. They give you a map of what's happened in the past and where the market potentially can then go to next. That's where you should be starting. Any trader should start their career off there. If you want more information on how to start your career off and how we can help you with that, click on the link. Also, check out our website, axiofutures.com. I'll leave you there though, guys. Until the next series, I bid you farewell.